Last week, we got to bring one drop of love to Millsaps College in Jackson, Mississippi. And if you know me well, or if you've seen the show, you know how important stories are to me. So it was wonderful to be greeted by this sign at the airport in Jackson. Okay, now, my good friend Jonas, who gave me notes on an early draft, or a couple early drafts of One Drop, well, his brother lives in Jackson, and so we got a personalized tour of Jackson from his brother, Jed, uh, and Jed's wife, Harriet. Jed also happens to be a program officer for the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, which is in part responsible for One Drop being there. So it was just a wonderful way to start our visit. The tour really reminded me of the important place that Jackson and Mississippi have in the history, especially in civil rights history, but also it reminded me of how much work there still is to be done to have a an airport named after Medgar Evers, but still to have Confederate symbols all over Mississippi really reminds you that the work does not end. This was the first trip with Nadine as our production manager outside of Los Angeles. I met Nadine while getting my MFA at Cal State LA and she joins us often at our LA shows. Our technical director from Millsaps is Michael and he was fantastic. So right now we're in tech rehearsal time. So I am waiting for my cue to come into the room and start counting. And then Nadine's in there and she's gonna listen for me as I start counting. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, one, and you're two. Hi, good to see you. Uh, three. We're at the end of the tech rehearsal, so we're working out where, when we turn down the lights and when we bring them back up. So we have lights for the final movie. Everything comes out. We bring up just the stage lights and not the house lights. So we're working that out now. This is Exploring History and Identity in the Story of My Name. Um, and my name is Fanchon Cox Di Giovanni. I am a storyteller. I am all about stories. And in particular, I am all about stories for social impact. I think if you're going to tell a story, that that story should in some way impact others and yourself but there should be some element of you telling your story that actually helps move people towards change. And let's hope for positive change, right? Yeah. Kind of equity and justice type of change. So storytelling for social impact, to me, these are the two essential elements to have an impact, which is that you have your personal narrative, you have your personal story, it could be a scene in your life, a moment in time. It could be an entire memoir of your entire life. But that has to be connected to some historical context. The historical context is the piece that is universal for all of us, right? We are all affected by history. Every single one of us. Sometimes we don't think about the ways that that history is connected to our personal story. These are the events and things that have happened historically that actually brought me to these moments that I'm sharing with you. So that's what we're going to explore today. The writing is percolating still. Right. Um, but the thing that I saw in my three, um, the three things that I chose were all linked together um, because they are engaging with Catholicism and power. Mm -hmm. um, and so and when I looked at the list, the thing that I was thinking about was that my Catholic identity um, has always been much easier for me to embrace than other parts of me, which is not to say that I don't embrace my blackness, but rather, like, I was born Catholic. I grew up in a very Catholic place, and Catholicism was front and center in our lives growing up. Mm -hmm. um, so, in the year I was born, um, there was a black sludge dumped in the Mississippi River, causing an environmental um, disaster. And in the 1960s, I talked about Kennedy being elected. So, what I did was, um, I took, like, 
the um the historical event and i juxtaposed it with um i juxtaposed it using like emotions so my birth and the river i kind of connected those and i showed like how one was hurting and another was rejoicing in like both so yeah like, you know, it's like as, as soon as you start thinking about names, you think about family, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you think about your p two parents coming together from yeah. these two different families mm -hmm. and making one family. My values, yeah. uh, I'm Christian, and so Gabriel meant, and I think it's Hebrew, I believe, it means strong man of God. And so um, I definitely thought that being strong um, was definitely a big part of me, especially through my writings. It was colonization, 1960, MLK assassination in 1995, Ebola, and O.J. Simpson. If it wasn't for colonization in the 1600s, MLK would have heard freedom. We are so grateful to the wonderful people that we met in coming to Millsaps College bringing one drop of love, bringing the workshops, hearing your stories, your bravery, your vulnerability, your fun, your humor. We so appreciate you, Millsaps. Thank you, and we can't wait to be back. Tell your story. Tell your story. <laughs>